The suspect linked to a stabbing spree that left one person dead and two others seriously injured is now in police custody. The victim's brother-in-law says that the murder victim should be considered a hero because he saved his sister's life. A tense moment as police locked down the area of Hermitage Road and Henry Avenue Wednesday as they conducted a manhunt for the stabbing suspect. They say he stabbed one woman in a bus shelter, another woman in a tent in the homeless encampment in the neighborhood and continued his rampage. Following that, the same individual then proceeded to uh, the area of Hermitage Road and Henry Avenue where he randomly, or what appears at this point to be random, he randomly attacked a male and female who were walking together uh, and set upon this male where uh, uh, our deceased was stabbed multiple times and died at the scene. The attacks are believed to be random. Officers arresting 25-year-old Clarence Lawrence just before 6 p.m. at 50th Street and 122nd Avenue. Police say he will face numerous charges which will be released after the autopsy Friday. Alan Frost, who tells City News he's the brother-in-law of victim Brian Burland, says Burland is a hero and saved his sister. He writes to City News, when Jamie and him were walking our puppy meatball, Buddy came out of the nearby bushes and attacked them. When Buddy started to stab Brian, he yelled to Jamie to run, and he saved her life. He describes Brian as a kind-hearted man who would never hurt anyone and would do anything for anyone who needed help, saying he will be greatly missed. Burland was from Cold Lake First Nation whose chief had this statement. Brian was a kind-hearted, well-known member of our community, and our hearts go out to his family. The random and shocking violence seen in the past week needs to end, and the rapidly unfolding mental health crisis desperately needs to be addressed. Residents in the Homesteader neighborhood are worried something similar could happen again. We are troubled because uh, we are now going to go out as groups, groups of five or more, in order to go for our walks. We're talking about moving. It's it's not safe here. I have, I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old. It's not, it's not safe here, no. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.